today we're talking about gender roles. Hey, what's up guys? It is Riley. Welcome to my channel. As I said in the little intro bit, we are talking about gender roles today. I have definitely talked about gender roles before, but this time I did a little bit of research. So I have some facts that are like set in facts to tell you guys, not just facts that I've known for ages, but like facts that I actually actively did research for. So we're going to talk a little bit about the history of gender roles, how they kind of came to be and how they affect affect people in today's society. So yes, enough rambling, let's start. Also, I know this is really like unprofessional for YouTube, but I have my notebook with all of the facts and everything written down in it, so I'm just gonna like read it off to you instead of trying to act like I memorized it all. By definition, gender roles are a set of societal norms dictating the types of behaviors which are generally considered more acceptable, appropriate, or desirable for people based on their actual or perceived sex or sexuality. So basically, if you present as a man or you present as a woman, people automatically assume that there's this set idea of constructs that you have to, like, follow. Like, it's more desirable for women to stay home and be stay-at-home moms and cook, and it's more desirable for men to be strong and go out and work. Gender roles, the phrase, was actually coined in 1955 by John Money to describe the manners in which intersex people expressed themselves as male or female when there wasn't a clear biological assignment. So really, gender roles was a thing for queer people in the first place. But also, why was it needed? Why did he just decide that, oh, we need to tell who and in what intersex people identify as and are and what they should or shouldn't be and so like why did gender roles need to be a thing? Because really it didn't. Like we could have lived our entire lives without having the gender roles construct. Gender roles often lead to implicit gender stereotypes and that's where people don't necessarily know the impact these roles have on their everyday life. For example, the idea that men are better drivers than women or women are better at household chores than men. It's like you expect a man or a woman to be better at something or do something better just because they are a man or a woman and that is something that is led off of this entire gender stereotypes gender roles BS. But what do all gender roles and everything that has to do with them have in common? They limit what you feel like you should be allowed to do in today's society. A lot of people feel restricted because of gender roles and especially trans people and I've seen this because if they're identifying as male they, they feel they have to fit this idea of masculinity perceived through the gender roles in order to be a valid person in the gender that they identify with. When that is completely false and not true, you don't have to fit certain stereotypes, you don't have to fit into these gender roles to be valid in the gender that you do identify with. Kill the idea that these gender roles are like the be all end all of what makes you you. So kill the idea that men can't wear dresses and still be men. Kill the idea that women or non-binary people can't be masculine and still be women or non-binary. The idea that women must be soft and men must be hard is doing more harm than good. And like, I genuinely believe there's nothing positive that comes out of these gender roles. So that's a little bit of history and backstory on what gender roles are, where they came from, and a little bit of my stance on them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what do you kind of think about this whole gender role situation. I also want to take this time to give a shout out to my patrons on Patreon. So Alex Neal on Facebook, A-L-E-X-X-N-E-A L-E on Facebook. That is the social media they asked me to shout out. So go friend, add, follow, whatever. And Neon Haynes, and I will put their Tumblr username right here because I cannot pronounce it. It's like Yoon Socks or something like that. And so you should go give them a big follow. You can subscribe because I post two videos a week. One is on Tuesdays and it's this trans ed type deal. And the other is on Thursdays and it's kind of whatever I'm feeling. I also recommend you go check out my side channel because I'm doing Vlogmas right now. So that's a new vlog like every day or every other day depending on when I get to uploading them. That's it. That's the fun time. Love you guys and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye.